What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create this super sick, trippy, so-called mask effect. This one is inspired by DevStack's new music video. I thought it looked super fire, so I want to say big shout out to Forgetter. I think he's the one that shot and edited this video. The video is super clean, I'll leave his socials down below. Big shout out to you. But if you're a fan of these kind of effects like the one I just displayed, then I just want to talk to you real quick about my Ultimate Brain Rot Bundle. The Ultimate Brain Rot Bundle allows you to have those distortion, those brain rot edits that you're going to see from artists like Che, Wilsamasam, basically all of the crazy artists out there. It's a style that's going super crazy right now, but I hated the fact that I had to do like these effects from scratch every single time. So I basically made all of those presets to make it easy for you. And in fact, I even added a bonus section, which is like animated gifts that you can throw in there. Basically just have this like crazy style all in a matter of seconds. That it's just here, you can cop it down below. I even left you a code for 15% off. Now let's get right into this tutorial. All right, let's do this. So this is the effect that we're gonna have at the end. I thought it looked so pretty clean like super chippy, like just the fact that you start with like the original scene and then going into the effect. So this is the clip that we should have at the beginning. So the first thing we need to do is to rotoscope or layer. I already have my layer rotoscope. If you don't know how to rotoscope yet, there are so many tutorials out there. So I'm gonna skip that part so that we can get into like the real juicy creative side of it. Let's get into it. So I have my layer right here. And then we're just gonna call this a roto. And then the one under, we're gonna call it BG. And then under, we're gonna create a new solid. Let's do command Y. And I'm gonna choose this red. So basically like this is uh, the background that we're gonna see once we're gonna make like the circle mass effect on the background. So let's just call it a uh, background color. There we go. Let's put it under everything. And now we're gonna create like that mask effect that we seen like in the video. We're gonna go to the ellipse tool right here. And then we're gonna select this, just drag it on like this so you can see. So now you can already see like the effect conforming. If we left it like that, it would look like this. It looks pretty cool with like, there's no, it's definitely missing some sauce. So now we're gonna create the effect where in the beginning, like you don't see the effect and then we're gonna make the mask go down. Let me show you how to do that. So let's go into mask. So if you don't see this, you can press on M. We're gonna go into the mask properties and then the mask expansion. At the beginning, we're just gonna drag this up until we can't see like the circle. And then we're gonna keyframe the stopwatch right here. Go a bit further down right there. And then we're gonna drag it down until we get this circle right here about this side. So it should look like this. So of course this is not smooth at all. I guess we can like keyframe the stopwatch. That works, something like that. You're probably like, wait, like this isn't right. It looks like kind of crazy. It doesn't look like choppy. It doesn't have that sauce to it. Don't worry, that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's go. So we're gonna make this like way more choppy and nice. So what we're gonna do is in mask expansion. So we're gonna make it wiggle in that choppy way in the mask expansion. So we're gonna add an expression. Let's do alt click on mask expansion. Then we're gonna type pulse to rise time eight, arrow to the right, semicolon. Now let's press enter. And then we're gonna type wiggle, parenthesis, 24, comma. And then let's do, let me think, like 50. Yeah, 50 that works. And now as you can see, it's moving in that choppy way and it's also like wiggly. So it has a, it has a bit of randomness. Uh, we can make it more obvious. I could do like 150. Yeah, that's super far right there. And to add more depth, I think we're gonna add a drop shadow to it as well. That's that. I'm gonna go and type drop shadow right here. I have like a pre pre made preset, but it's just a drop shadow. And then you increase the distance. We can increase the softness so it adds more depth right here. Let's look at what we have. Yeah, that's pretty clean right there. Yeah, that's super hard. By the way, is it the first time that you're gonna see me with the with this bun, like I, I never do it in the back. I always like tie it up like this uh, face end. So now that this is done, we're gonna create the text uh, that I showed like earlier. So the circle is gonna go down, boom, and then we get it text reveal, have it like sauced up. I'm gonna show you how we can make it look nice, but that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's go. So we're gonna create a new text layer, command T, and then the artist name is stack. So that's what I'm gonna type. And I think I'm gonna choose the Data font, and then we're gonna add the drop shadow to it as well. That looks pretty cool. That works. Now we're just gonna give it like that choppy, like brain rock style, just like animated. 
So, so if you want to create it from scratch, you can do it with expressions, but I feel like the easiest way to do it is to go into my playground effects text animations. And then I can just drag whatever, like, let's say we do like smooth rotation. All I got to do is drag the preset onto my text layer and bam, it is animated in that style. It doesn't have to be that one as well. It could be like favorite jitter, for example. And as you can see, that one is like super like dynamic. Like, these type of text effects are super popular right now, like in the whole underground, like in music videos. That's why like I automated like the whole process because I love this style, but it just sucks to like create expressions every single time. Wiggle this, wiggle that. I just have like these three presets right here for the text animations. So I think I'm going to stick with that one. That one looks crazy. And now we're just going to add a bit of sauce to a little. We're going to duplicate it and then Let's scale it up a bit. We're going to scale it up and we're going to add a white background. Let's fill, boom, like this. That's going to look super nice. Just in the beginning, we shouldn't be able to see it. So let's put it at 100 and scale in the beginning. And then a few frames forward, we're going to make it 100 to You know, this effect looks insane so far. This is looking super tame. Now it's time to sauce up our sequence some more. I'm going to show you the bonus part of the brain rock bundle that we have. It's like the animated GIFs. We can just go to our GIF section and you have, and you have close to 30 of these like super fire emojis right here. Like these bright rod kind of elements that you can simply like drag down your videos just like this. Like these look so fire. So I'm going to choose a couple ones. I have square box. I got geek mouse. I'm going to use. Let's start with these two. Let's drag it on there. And now, as you can see, it already adds so much to it. So I'm going to put the mouse right over there. The square box I'm going to put behind the rotos, actually like behind the text as well. Just the mouse, I'm going to put it just on top of the text layer. And now, just like that, you get this super safe brain rock style. We can create another adjustment layer just to tie it all up together. You can add a posterized time effect. Let's do eight frames per second. So that's how you can do one of these effects from scratch. If you want to like sauce it up some more and you need three people that got the brain out bundle, you can just go to brain out effects essentials. And if you want to like sauce up this scene, for example, you could just like add swag 2012 filter and it adds, it's going to add more of like that brain out style. One I love a lot is like trippy grid. Trippy grid is so crazy like as you can see even trippy grunge i love so much like look at this that looks insane i damn near want to like stick with this but i'm gonna stick with this right here but i'll have the link down below if you want to get the pack yeah, that looks nice yeah that looks super clean we could even do like duplicate that text drag it to the middle and then we could put like another one on the bottom that way there are three of those let's look at what that looks like with that said, let's look at our final result. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and if you brought you any value, please consider subscribing and please let me know in the comments what else you want to see next on this channel. Also, if you want to get the bread wrap bundle, I'll have it linked down below. And with that said, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.